I'm an American sitting on a crumbling brick wall in Russia, not Moscow, specifically in Siberia. And I'm going to wander around this city today in Siberia to see what I see and learn more about Siberia, a place that I've heard of my whole life as the place is like the most far away, the place with the worst weather. And I wanna see what is Siberia really like? Welcome to Expat American. I am the Expat American. Is Siberia a scary place? Find out right now. Statue of Lenin, you know, just a regular place. I mean, again, more graffiti than I'm used to seeing in Moscow. I'm starting to get insecure on these streets. I think something might happen to me, I don't know. Okay, that building right there looks kind of old. It says at the top in Russian, tourist. That is the hotel that I'm staying at, and I am on a little walk next to a river, one of two rivers that this city has. Walls that are not in the best of shape, so it's not a good start as far as my arrival. Um, I do see some graffiti there, which I don't usually see in Moscow, so I don't know if that is abnormal or not. I've got my, my littlest child with me, so i got to keep an eye on him too. Maxim, you see that? I picked up some Russian in my time here. I am an American, but I've been in Moscow for two years. Um, and it looks like coming up ahead here, I can see the river and a bridge over the river. The people to me look normal as far as their mood and their dress looks typical and casual. I would say as far as the weather is concerned, um, this is June. And it feels great. It is like a cool breeze. It's like the nicest air conditioned weather you could imagine. And I'm from Florida, so I know what good air conditioning is supposed to feel like. Oh, look at this. A beach in Siberia. Check it out. I don't see anyone swimming. Maybe they swim when it gets warmer. But people are definitely enjoying it as a beach. You've got playground equipment in the distance. There's a barge going by. A little ice cream shop. Some gnats. Just like I would find at a coastal place in Florida. Let's go into the center and see if it looks better or worse or the same. Um, I'm not scared, but I'm not impressed at this point. Okay, everyone has their own idea of what is good weather, um, but take note, you know, we have people that are wearing jackets and people that are not wearing jackets, people that have taken their jackets off. Here's a closer look at our hotel here. So a lot of pedestrians and a big wide path that is coming off of the river towards the center of town. Piece of art in the center of the square here. A lot of people enjoying the outdoors. And it looks like a string of shops there. And I want to see it, but I'm actually intrigued by this over here. It looks like. Yeah. So we've got a river walk right here. So it looks like this is the start of the actual walk part of the river. Yeah, so there's the barge I saw earlier. So they connect right here. And so you got a little, little river walk. Again, it's old, but still, it's nice. Do my ears deceive me? I hear dueling live music as I approach the bridge. Casual 90s light rock coming from a park across the river. 
And then further away, sounds like I hear bagpipes. I got a statue of a man and a woman having a lunch, it looks like. I mean, again, more graffiti than I'm used to seeing in Moscow. But I mean, you could fix that if you maybe increased your graffiti fines. I live in Moscow and I get comments all the time that Moscow is not Russia. Um, the impression I've been given is that they think that Moscow takes all the money, but also some people say that they think that Moscow has lost the heart and soul in a way of what Russia is supposed to be. Um, so as we walk around the city, we should be asking ourselves, or at least me, I want to know, what is the difference between this city and Moscow? There's a hot dog stand, and the sidewalk here looks way better. Look at that park over there, that park area. Got another bridge. Look at all that! It looks like historic downtown. Yeah, I can hear the bagpipes. Like an Orthodox church of some kind, and all these classical buildings. And they look nice. Russia has bagpipes? What? Pretty cool, huh guys? Russia is an international place, even in Siberia. Siberia, the place that's supposed to be like the furthest place away from any other place, right? Bruta da Maxim? Oh go. Wandering the streets of Omsk. How's it look? Leave a comment, so let me know. So you got different pretty things here, like a little city walk. Looks like I have a new lady here I can maybe make friends with. Sarits! It's your boy mama. She's reading Stush, Stuhach, Stuhach. Looks like, looks like Pushkin. Da! Ah, Pushkin! Got a mixture of old buildings and, um, you know, uh, restored buildings. Lots of restaurants and people enjoying themselves. So kind of a mixture of old and new, like it's been fixed up. Nice staircase there. Siberia has KFC? Does that look like KFC in your city? My wife is looking for shoes and clothes. Does this look like a shoe shop in your city? This is a Russian pizza restaurant called Dodo Pizza. Dodo as in the dodo bird. So how do the people look? Do they look like Siberians? Do they look like people in your city? It's looking, dare I say, pretty normal. So same. Oh, SpongeBob? She's nice SpongeBob SpongeBob? Mickey Mouse! Jetski up yet. So my beautiful, hard-working wife has brought us to a kids' cafe in Omsk, on the main drag here in Siberia, which, which has a play place where Maxime is playing with a yellow wally colored eva and there's the play place what's that darling just the name of the cafe is mimi giraffe oh cool so Lana, where did you get there it is chicken shashlik with vegetables ah i got the same thing well sort of mine is turkey with grilled vegetables my vegetables are grilled hers are not yeah. and now you Saris. 
Whoa, oh go, Tivo Shoy. What is it? Looks like a chicken. And it's made out of an egg. So Yaitsa E Gamburger? Very healthy young man. It's a carbless hamburger with egg on it. And you're eating your vegetables first? So three things for you Westerners that I just realized who are thinking about maybe moving here. We got this as a freebie. It says Johnny Cowboy in Russian. You know how I know that for sure? On the back it says Cowboy Johnny. So that's nice. So the cultures are not crazy different. And also, Maxime's food. Pretty healthy, I just realized. So it was a, I guess a chicken patty, an egg, and then all raw vegetables. In America, I think it would be like fried chicken and french fries, which isn't as healthy for you. And then thirdly, when we were in our hotel room for the first time putting down our bags, Maxime had a little panic attack because he realized that he had left Superman in the lobby. Um, of course, we went down to the lobby. I know it might sound crazy, but just imagine being a five-year-old boy. We all have things that are important to us, but deep down inside, we know it's not important. It's just important to us. So we got down to the lobby, and of course, he found Superman. We're here. There's a play place. He decided to grab his friends, his toy men, and let them slide down the slide. It seems playing with his friends, since Kristoff's not here. Oh, you beat Superman. And I reminded him, because it's my job to remind him, and then he can make a decision. You know, you lost Superman, be careful. He was like, yeah, 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 I know, Dad. Um, so two minutes later, he comes back with just Superman, not, not his other men, and zips Superman up in his bag, and then goes back to play with the other men. <laughs> So it's a good story though, because the good point is people say Russia has everything, and I'll say that too. Yes, Russia does have everything, but when it comes to whatever is unique and specific that you really, really like, you might want to buy that ahead of time. They're not going to have all the cereal that you have. They're not going to have all the Supermans you're used to buying. You can buy Superman here, but it's probably one Superman, probably not the type that you want. For Tinky Tom? Okay, how's the show? off my shoes. Maxine's telling us to take off our shoes. Oh, wow. Wow. Huh? Okay, I'll watch you. Oh, with you? Okay, here I go. Here I go. Oh my gosh. Oh, Boja, holy God. What's the Roja? You like Opal? Whoa, you're like Indiana Jones. Dun, 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 dun. Show. Okay. Oh, me too? That's my thing. Okay. Start now, Okay. Oh, yes. oh Boja. Now, how do I get out of here? Yeah, I show. Okay, I think your mom wants me to spend some time with her. Boom. Oh, Boja. Oh, Boja. And I'm out. Fantastic. So there's a pavilion that Spirit says Moscow has as well, the same name. And I like this old building here with the clock on it. It's pretty cool. Oh, go, Mala Dance. Show. Look at this artist working hard. Not a big difference between artist and homeless person. 
It's a fine line. Maxim, Sabaka, Ipolizia. Svetlana, is this your first time in Siberia? No. So, is it what you thought Siberia looked like? Um, I didn't have any expectations in Siberia. I didn't know what to expect. I knew it's a very cold place. Um, well, it doesn't look cold right yeah, now. I mean, it's, like it's minus 14 in the winter and it could be plus 14 in summer. I always wanted to get to Siberia. Uh, it's so far away, I never had a chance. So now it's a good opportunity. And we're crossing over one of the two rivers it's built on? Right, so this is River uh, Umka. Graffiti art on the walls. And someone said that is an indoor ski slope, but I don't know if that's true or not. To me it looks like a bunch of happy people enjoying a clean city with parks getting their exercise crosswalks pretty guardrails statue of lenin you know just a regular place for russia and um a better place in some ways for most of the world shiny marbleized stone or a park here which has I believe a war memorial right there it says coffee anytime so even all the way over here in Siberia you've got English Marilyn Monroe poster so that is an advertisement for something but the point is is they have similar or the same cultural icons as we do in America. Benches, trees, in the middle of the sidewalk here. Not something you would do if you are a cruel, oppressive state. Put beautiful trees on the sidewalk. That doesn't need to be done even if you're a nice state. I don't know guys, what do you think? Should I be scared? I'm starting to get insecure on these streets. I think something might happen to me, I don't know. What do you think? I just noticed these uh, upper levels here, this building. Just look at it, man. All the brickwork, I wonder how old it is. It says Opera Karaoke Bar. Famous Russians on the window. And it says Irish Pub Restaurant. Check out this old drooping house here that the city has grown up around. Line has a hammer and sickle and a star on it over and over again. Well, and so does the above each window, there's a hammer and sickle. And that says 1925-1927. Okay, so I've decided to pass judgment on Siberia and declare it to be not a scary place. Click like, subscribe, ring the bell notification, click the box, see what happens next. And in the next video I'm going to make, we're going to go inside my hotel room. What do you think? Does that look scary? Wow! Но сейчас все настолько глобально меняется, что здесь, в принципе, сложно сказать, ситуативно это или это надолго. Но я думаю, что если люди переезжают с семьями и с детьми, и оседают здесь в России, и любят Россию, потому что многие из них, они уже изучают, они уже читают книги, они уже задают вопросы, они уже говорят, мы русские души. Back up, back up. No, it's running, it's running, it's running. Back up. Back up, back up further. Back up further.